Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's 2019, and we are back. It is the NLG show, and uh, it is good to be back on the air. Uh, looking to see why the chat room isn't working just yet, uh, but we'll get that fixed in just a moment. Uh, while uh, After I introduce myself, after everybody else introduces themselves, I'll work on the chat room. So I am Mike Mullis, a.k.a. Stinger NLG, and here with me is the rest of my crew. Take it away, boys. All right. It's HTK, <laughs> a.k.a. Peter. What's going on, guys? Happy New Year. Still allowed? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and I am uh, Chris Williams, a.k.a. Fastback6768. So definitely uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Glad to be back. 2019, let's go. And look who we got. Look who we got in the right-hand square. It's our boy. Woo. It's the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Rick Lassie. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, first time caller, uh, long-time listener. <laughs> oh, we're live. Thanks for on the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, what <laughs> better year again. What better, what better, what better way to kick off 2019 and have our boy Rick on? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. It is a great new year for sure. I'm glad to be on with you guys. And uh, like you said, this is the first show of uh, 2019, so let's kick it. High gear, you know. Yeah. As Chris said earlier on Twitter, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. That's right. <laughs> All right. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I keep phasing in and out. So I got the X split uh, V cam. Um, which is uh, which lets you put like a background behind you, like you see behind me. But you see what's happening with my hands? It's all weird yeah. stuff. So I don't know, man. This might keep, this keep might, your hands to yourself. Right. <laughs> 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 this might freak. This might freak me out. Yeah. So, Looks uh, like you got some clipping issues. Might need to come out with a patch. You know. Right. Well, <laughs> or I might need to get closer to the closer to the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so ah jago what's up man they're, they're filling the chat room already here we go here we go so uh uh you know thanks for uh for joining us tonight rick this is uh great we uh you know the holidays are always tough for us because everybody's got parties and kids and stuff to do and so uh we're, you know uh, i was actually surprised we got a uh we actually pulled a show off the friday before christmas i don't know how that happened but we're back. We got some great stuff this year coming, and uh, we're looking to we're looking to seriously grow the show this year. So, what better way than to start out with you, Rick? So instead of three Thanks, three hours, we do six hours. That's how we grow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. Uh, see you next year again, twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the NLG Show twenty twenty. Ah, no, 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 no. So I've gotten better over this year at at not having three hour shows unless I'm on somebody else's podcast. Right. <laughs> then it's, then it's well, free no... advertising, right? So you have to stretch it as much as you can. Absolutely. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, everybody had a great uh, great New Year and stuff. Holidays were good. We're pretty good. Fantastic. Anybody get any new toys for Christmas? Yes, a whole bunch of Nintendo Pro Controllers, man. Kids and I have been playing a ton of Smash Brothers. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah. Very nice. We need those controllers. Yes. Thank yeah. you, mother-in-law. <clears throat> mm. nice. Yeah, we... Just, both my daughters have a Switch, and we also got Smash. Uh, I have one Pro Controller, so I'm not sharing it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, man, but my daughter's actually my five-year-old. She's been loving Odyssey. So she's been all over that, so... She gets to do everything, travel all around, and she's like, here, Dad, you know, do the bosses. <laughs> so that's the way nice. it works. We team up. Right. It's all right. Well, my, I mean, I, you know, for me, Christmas is my wife's birthday. So <clears throat> um, we already celebrated Hanukkah, like, early this year. It was, uh, it was like, the first weekend in December. So this year, we took my wife, or I took my wife to, uh, I don't know if you guys have had this around. Peter, you might have this close to you. Fogo de Chao. It's a Brazilian steakhouse. Don't know. Okay. Well, it might be regional. I don't know, which would be weird because it's a Brazilian steakhouse. I don't know how that would be re regional to Maryland, but underwhelming to say the least. It's one of those places where you have like a card. The card's red and green, 
And if your card is on the table and it's green, all these people with all these meat things come around and slice meat onto your onto your uh, plate for you, and um, and you can basically gorge. Well, yeah, it was it was mediocre at best, but got to celebrate my wife's birthday, so I was awesome. I was very very happy with that. So, um, all right, so. I instead of instead of us going through, hey, what have we been playing in the break? This is a this show is actually what have we been playing all year? This is our our year in review, 2018. What have we been playing? What have we really liked? What has stood out for us in the year 2018? Could be any console or PC. Could be anything that anything at all. Could be a retro. Could be whatever it was that came out this year that you really got got hooked into um this is you know this is what i want to talk about tonight and uh, kind of do our year in review and by the way rick i know i showed you pre-show but representing kcd or kdc say what yeah yeah so uh yeah by the way so what, what we got what we got news wise on kingdom come deliverance since you are here uh, how about dropping yeah. that, how about dropping that knowledge that they're working on part two Time to, to, time to get to plug us up. Um, <laughs> so, well, a couple things. One is uh, there's a, an amazing sale going on right now. Yeah, you overall can get like this huge like combo like um, or bundle where you get all the DLC and the game on Steam right now for like forty one dollars for everything. Um, mm-hmm. Or you can just get all the DLC. We've had released three now for fifteen bucks for all of them. So it's a really awesome uh-huh. deal which is just this weekend um but also we just talked about our new dlc coming in february which is uh called band of bastards and it's it's like pretty much mostly all combat so you you can Mm. this usually in the you know in kingdom come you can avoid combat here and there you cannot in this dlc so you need to hone your skills um i don't even want to give much away other than you kind of join with the band of shady somewhat mercenaries, but you're going to kind of act as their guide and try to accomplish some things or whatever. And, <laughs> you're uh, going to beat some people and do some stuff. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, we're going to beat some people, you know, we're going to do some stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> more stuff to steal. Yes. Nice. Yeah, more, more, more people to beat up. <laughs> and uh, we're very excited about it. We have some other stuff coming. And uh, so we're, we're always busy, man. We're always patching it. Doing something, we're we're excited. Got more coming. And you are up for Steam's uh, RPG Game of the Year, right? The Steam Awards. Ooh, actually, it's for the Game of the Year. Game of the Year. Yes. The nice. Game of the Year. Yes, we are See? very excited. We are a nominee. So, out of all the games on Steam that you could vote for for name, uh, Game of the Year, we're at least we at least made it in the top five. That's nice. excellent. So, well, de- definitely well deserved. Excellent, excellent. Oh. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way, Rick. You don't have to say a word. Got hosted Game Awards. That's all I'm gonna say. I made it. I made it very clear on Twitter, so it's not like I'm making any surprise things. But I just you don't have to. You don't. You all, I know you can just you can just stay silent. I'm gonna let it out. Kingdom Come Deliverance should have been nominated for RPG of the Year, the Game Awards. I know why it wasn't. I think a lot of people who are smart gamers know why, and it was uh, it was wrong. So I'm really glad to see that the Steam Awards is is recognizing the game for what it is. Um, and that is, by the way, that is my opinion. That is my opinion alone. I'm gonna make that right now. Don't send any hate mail to Rick. It has nothing to do with War Horse. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has. Nobody has paid me. Nobody has said a word to me about saying that. Everybody knows how I feel about the game. So just wanted to get that out. So now, so uh, we want Kingdom Come Deliverance too, by the way. That's, it's time. Well, thanks, to everybody. We're going to have a future. You know what I mean? We want to have a future. And uh, if I may point out real quick, my boy Mike, Mikey G. Rock, he's a yeah. uh, yeah, he's Rochester man. Like we, we're also coworkers with our with our cell phone job, and uh, so he, yeah, he's local. He's a local man. He's he's a wild one. He just started streaming too. So just wanted to give him a little shout out, Mike, my nice. man. Salute nice. you, brother. 
Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. And of course, Siberia jumped in. We got Dirty that Dirty J. They were playing. Looks like they were playing some. Uh, they were playing something before they jumped in. Uh, you don't want to know what they were playing. Yeah. No. <laughs> we got Far Jago Cry. They're playing Far course. Cry. Yeah. Far Cry so, and of course, Jago, who game. promised me, who promised me he'd be here tonight, and uh, I've already. Um, I've already started putting the bug in his ear for a Sega centric show with him, so uh, that's, that's that's coming soon. As soon as we can figure out how to how to keep him awake <laughs> long enough to get through a show. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, and and in the chat room, by the way, we want to hear about your top games of 2018 what have you guys been playing all year that has really stuck out to you things that you've liked um you know things that have happened it doesn't even have to be games if you're happy that that nintendo sony microsoft steam uh epic has done something that that's really cool if you're you know we'll talk we can talk about uh what the what the games of gold ps plus and game pass lineups have been like um, you know, uh, things that are, you know, announcements that were made that were really hot. What tonight is just, is just potpourri of, of gaming. And what did you just grab? Is that I'm a sorry, sword? But this is a, I'm sorry. I just had a, you know, get, it's my hands makes me do things, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a Kalamazoo foam sword and it's, uh, uh, it's, I don't know. It might be hard to, can you see the, Rex Familia. Yes. It is actually uh, Lord uh, Sir Razzik's uh, sword in the game. And um, you can actually purchase this online right now, but it's a foam sword, and it is incredible. I've it actually used it. It looks real, man. When you grab that, I'm like, did he just grab a yeah. real sword? Oh, I do have a real sword. I but- don't doubt it. But, uh, yeah, this was awesome. I just want to hold on to while we talk. <laughs> Hope it's not a distraction. <laughs> Be careful. Nice. We so, love KCD. We love KCD. Yeah. <laughs> all right. like holding this set. He's holding this set. Threat. Yes. <laughs> KCD is the only game I played all year. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about that now. Uh, all right. Uh, so you are our guest. Um, get us started. Give us a game that you've... Uh, that you've been playing over the course of the year, it's something, something you've been kind of hooked into. Yeah. Um, let's see where to start. So, I kind of did an action fighting shooter RPG co-op and indie, and I and I won't take forever. If you want me to go through that list, I can we'll do that. We'll just go. We'll go, and then we'll talk about if if it's a game we've all played. We'll we'll get into it. Okay. So some of these games I haven't finished, and, and, it, and it makes it appear that because I've chosen these games that I've played a ton of games, which is not true. <laughs> but uh, my action game is definitely God of War 4. Um, I haven't finished it, but when I played it within the first, like, mm, half hour, I knew it was going to be my top action game of the year. Uh, the reason why is because I couldn't even get past the very first part in the first half hour. So I, I, I put it on the hardest mode, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I, I love that. Why would I'm you, a, why would you a, put it on the hardest mode? Well, because I I'm a glutton for punishment. That's why I love Dark Souls. I I, I love I love that stuff. You know what I mean? I live for punishment. So uh, I I love God of War. The the the, the atmosphere. The story with your son and like the relation there, uh, I, I love. I do. I love that stuff, and I love like the big boss, the, the, the big troll you fight in the beginning, and then that that dude with the tats. And um, and honestly, I haven't even gotten to the halfway point yet because I've been I do what I can. But God of War, action game of the year already. Sorry, that's my vote for that. Um, the fair vote. So. Fighting. Yeah, I mean, we game. know. Well, we know it was. We know it was. You know, we know it's gotten a lot of, a lot of game. You know, it's been game. It's game of the year for, for the game awards. It's got a lot of accolades. Um, I mean, I, I, I tell you what. What I did the other day, and I don't usually do this. I there was a video on YouTube of 
every one of Kratos's fights with that guy. And we're going to give it away because if there might still be people that haven't played the game or haven't gotten that far, I don't want to give away, you know, some of the some of the action. But I just watched video of that fight and then the fight at the end, um, and I'm I don't do that. But that's how good that fight was. And then, uh, and then even what you controlled of it versus what was part of the, the screen, uh, part of the, uh, uh, the, the CG, uh, not the CGI, the, um, just the, the cut scene, I guess, um, just was incredible. Mm. So, I can't, I, I just, I know it's unsilly to vote for a game that you haven't finished, but I think you guys can agree there are some games where you know you don't even have to get to the end, and you already know. Amazing, you know, like Red Dead Redemption. Um, well, if you've <laughs> talking about Red Dead Redemption, uh, Peter, my finally at cha- you know at the bottom of chapter six, and it's finally like okay, now it's getting good. So if you've only played like you know, in my case, the first three chapters, that game would have been bad. Fair Not enough. Bad. <laughs> Looks gorgeous, but there's so many things that's like eh, you know. Too overhyped, but right now I'm like I'm I'm enjoying it. So, well, that's a good one. Let's let's um let's switch over to that for a minute. Um, do I have a current? I don't. Let me grab a current picture of that real quick. I still like I still like the old picture I had the wheelie steely or the uh, yeah. rootin' tootin' uh, something whatever it was. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me grab a is me not being prepared there we go um i figured whatever we talked about i try to find images while we're talking about it that's it's, it's nice. a lot of life so um i peter you put a ton of time into this game now considering that at the beginning of this you were like yeah, i ain't playing this <laughs> yeah it's like <laughs> the controls are it still bugs me it's like you try to fire your gun it doesn't go off it finally goes off like you know a second later and you miss the guy and then at the end of your mission, you know, you you know, you, you get a medal like bronze, silver, gold. And you look at it, and it's like it's all bronze because a you don't hit your eighty percent target ratio or your headshots and other stuff. It's it's just because uh, I don't know. I'm I'm like fighting against the controls, which is uh, I wish it was like a little tighter. Would have been more enjoyable for me. But you know, just the the game itself, just a it's it's eye porn. <laughs> it's like, man, each time I play it, it's like it's so gorgeous. Mm. And you can run it in cinematic mode, so you know, keep riding your horse, but you kind of have a different camera angle, like like a movie. It's fantastic. All right. But what the uh, what what I what I don't like is like. You know, in earlier chapters, you have some great moments, but then after that, it's like, there's nothing. It's like, you know, kind of a void. And it's like, I wish there was more, you know, action after action, kind of after action. And otherwise, it's, uh, yeah, you know, it has a lot of ups and then a lot of downs. And finally, right now where I'm at in the bottom of these chapter six, there's a lot of action back to back. So... I'm really enjoying that, and uh, probably answer the bang. <laughs> well, oh. yeah, go, go ahead, Rick. You, have you put any time into Red Dead? You know, it's unbelievable that because I that <clears throat> was one of the games I was looking forward to the most. But I just I said I got to stop. I got to stop buying games because <laughs> I can't, I can't even finish the ones I have, and um, I'm going to get Red Dead, but. That's why it's not on my list. I'm sure it would have been on my list I, I, with all these other games I have here. Uh, but, um, I, I will. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have yeah, the top Chris two games in here now. <laughs> Chris calling you uh, out. Well, you know, no, I agree. My backlog is crazy too. I, I have, I'm on chapter three. I have to go back to, you know, you get pulled to other games, you know, like Siberian chat. He's trying to work on getting that legendary. He beat, said and he beat it twice. Well, I he said he beat RDR two twice. Siberia. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. talked with him. Uh, what was it? Yesterday or the day before? And he played one one round as a nice guy, and one round as a bad guy. Oh, nice. 
Well, what yeah. stopped what stopped you other than just backlog, Chris? I mean, or was it just because? No, I enjoyed the games. That I'm see, I'm different from a lot of people. Uh, I, I I was okay with the pacing, the way it started. Uh, you know, just kind of, you know, you, you getting started, getting introducing you to everybody, and and going on, you know, missions with different characters that were on the gang. Um, so I'm okay with that. That's just the way westerns are, and even the movies and TV series, they start off slow. So that's yeah. just it's it's not a western unless it starts off slow. So. Uh, <laughs> But I love the game. It's beautiful. I still need to play it on... I played it when I had it on the S. So I need to try it out on the X now with the 4K. So I'm sure I'm going to be amazed. Yeah. I, I, different. I, I, I know what... I know... I think I figured out what what is wrong with me with this game. and I And I think I finally realized what I was hoping the game would be and how unfair it is for me to expect that uh, back in 1997 there you go. Wait a yeah back in 97 <laughs> there was a game that came out by LucasArts called Outlaws oh and yeah first person it was basically first person shooter with western style um, it was out it was a PC game uh, I don't believe I don't believe it came out for any console. It was strictly PC, and it was it was fast paced. It was it's really cool. Um, it was almost like a Call of Juarez kind of game in in some senses. Um, and, you know, maybe games like that and like Gun for the for the Xbox mm -hmm. 360. Mm -hmm. I was expecting maybe Red Dead to be a bit like those games, and it wasn't. And that's not and that's not the game's fault. That's no. my fault. That's not the game's fault. I, I'm, well, you know, I, I guess I just if you had played Red Dead Redemption, the first one, you would have you know, said okay, I understand. Yeah, but you know, to you me, would have been to me, there was more action in the first one, more back to back. Yeah, it's been a while, but it, yeah, it probably was. There's a lot going on. Could also you be because it was, it was a... the first one in the series, so you know it's yeah. always. Yeah. Well, I, and I played Red Dead Revolver. <laughs> I still have Red Dead Revolver for uh, for the Xbox. Yeah, I have that too. Never finished it though. So I I think that had more action, and that I felt like I just got into a malaise. I think if the game, what I mean, I get that the game could be slow, but I think the game got so slow at the beginning. That I'm like, what am I doing? Like I could, I could sit here with my finger, with one finger on the controller, and a sandwich in my left hand, and still play the game. And I just that that, just I don't know. It, it when I when I realize that I've got all these other games to play, um, like Chris, it just went right into my backlog. And and the thing is, is I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to it. That's the that's the weird thing, is I I I feel like I want I need to, I feel like I need to because it's the game of everybody's year, you know. Like uh, Sam just yeah, jumped but in, there's you know. a lot of overhyped games though. I know. I mean, Sam just jumped Maybe into the chat year. room. What well, uh, Happy New Year, Sam! And he said, "You guys are talking about my favorite game of 2018." I mean, it's a lot of people's favorite game, and I just. <clears throat> you know how I got back in that game? Because I also was at one point like, ah, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this anymore. You were. I, I think it was at the chapter, you know, three, four. So what I did was I found a an interactive map with all the collectibles on it. So I started following that map, just driving around and collecting those collectibles, driving like around. the cards and those, uh, <laughs> uh, what are called, the uh, dream catchers and all that stuff. And I really started enjoying it. And then, you know, then you encounter some other random missions and stuff. So uh, that's how I go back into the game and finally starts to be good, getting good. I need to, maybe I just need to do that. Maybe I just need to just set the time aside and, and just, you know, take an hour a day and, and rock it. Yeah, when you play, just play the story and just... When you see the icons flashing for different characters, go do whatever they're asking you to do with them. That way, 
you keep progressing through the story and you know you don't have to worry about go hunting and all that they're gonna you know they're gonna show you all that other stuff so because that's how you unlock you know hunting fishing and whatever so but you know you just got to keep grinding at those stories and you know it'll get better it gets interesting you know the story you know as it comes along and then after this that you're done with this one then you need to go play red dead redemption right right after right (laughs) <laughs> Jeff jumped in. Same thing. See what Jeff jumped in just in time for one of my favorite games of 2018. <laughs> no. You know what Sam told me that Kingdom Come was his favorite game. Sam. <laughs> the game of the month. It's the game of the year every month. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's the game of the month for the whole year. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, I yeah. So I just I I found. I don't know. I, I don't know. No, but I, you know, we definitely understand. I, I mean, feel, I feel like I miss it. I know, so but don't feel like you have to like it. I know. I no, just, I don't. There's, I don't know why I you do. I, I, this is like the weirdest feeling. Like normally, I don't. This one, this one, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like if I'm not playing and I'm missing something, but then when I, I just look and I'm like, nah, I want to play. I want to play some VR. So yeah, I'll be you just gotta find VR. time for it. That's all. Yeah, that's the that's the killer part. So, um, so all right, oh, Chris, give us a game. My game of the year. Something you uh, see it see it these. There we go. Uh, most played. You know how the uh, Xbox had that deal. We can go in there and, and crunch all the numbers and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, see if these was my most played. Um, I think after that was. Um, State of the K two, mm-hmm. and then KCD. Those are my top three. Interestingly enough, Sea of Thieves was in my list, but only because I front loaded play the 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 time that I played at the beginning. Um, I, but I what's funny is that the, so much I love the multiplayer games like this. I had so much fun playing this. You know, with with you guys, uh, Crazy One, Siberia. Me and Siberia, we did a lot. You know, because at the time I was unemployed. So it was see these was my my employment. So um, we would have been legendary a long time ago. Then I had to go back to work. So, <laughs> but damn um, job gets in the way. But yeah. when the the deal came up to crunch all the numbers, I had more solo hours than I had multiplayer, which was I thought was strange. But I think I put credit that towards KCD. That's how yeah. good KCD was. That oh. you just, I just couldn't put it down. You know I wanted to do everything, steal everything. Take everybody's clothes and all that, and sell it. So, yeah, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. No, but see if these beautiful game. I definitely saw the difference going when I played it on the S on the 1080, and so when I went to the X on on 4K TV, definitely there you saw the difference. As soon as I booted it up, so beautiful game. So I will get legendary at some point. Cool. Yeah, that was also my uh, most played game. According to the Xbox stats, which mm-hmm. you know, played at the time. Well, I mean, we then, you know, almost like, played like daily, not 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 every night, but yeah, but so, practically with it, Nate and you know you and Crazy yeah. on. I got well, in there every I, once in a well, while. Nah, you guys stopped. Like, you guys no, stopped no, inviting me. A little no. bit of that guy named Stinger. Did you guys stopped inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, definitely, the game was great and everything, but it has its flaw, and we both know why. You know, the whole PC, PvP uh, deal, the disadvantage. Uh, but it does look like they're looking into it. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. I, I want to, I want to, I want to, like, like I was all set to play yesterday. And uh, Coop was like, yeah, hey, let's play some Sea of Thieves. And then he realized he had got his, uh, his Xbox fixed and forgot to, uh, and mm-hmm. upgraded his Xbox. So he didn't have it. So I was like, ah. so <laughs> my so I'll tell you what though some of my favorite time playing was not just with the with you and uh, Chris you and I had a great adventure when we were when that uh, some of that stuff first came out you were showing me around but yeah, man, the ships, yeah. having having Rick on board we got to get Rick back in this because uh, yeah. Rick mm-hmm. Rick didn't care about anything other than hey there's another ship let's go get it <laughs> <laughs> sorry 
the dude had you did man you had a bloodthirst like i see you need that you need that guy the one that has like that on the ship look i'll steer i'll do i'll raise the the sails and everything we need you need that person on the ship who i don't care i'll jump on the other ship kill people and you know that's what you need so yeah sam i'm ready to play i'm ready to play now because i have missed (laughs) all the current dlc and all the new things that they that they've brought in and um i i'm 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 ready to get back out there because i i mean i've seen now a couple of people say the game is substantially different from launch Mm -hmm. and i you got to give credit to rare uh yeah you know everybody thought rare was just you know throwing a towel in and that's it. They're gonna shut down and see if Thieves is a bust and blah 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 blah. And I, they have supported this game in the face of all of that and really built it into something. You know, it, it's a it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, you, you know, we're in this age now where games can start off just dry and shallow and turn into something. And I, I guess now we give them enough time to do that where, you know, in old generations, the game came out and it was dry and shallow. You didn't, it didn't develop over time. That's what you got. And you lived and died by it. So, you know, kudos to Rare for, for continuing to build this game. Um, and, and, of course, it's in Game Pass. So if you, you know, if you have Game Pass, you get to, you get to yep. use it. So... And supposedly they got more big stuff coming. This is not the end for Sea of Thieves. They they really want to continue to build this game in the 2019. Yeah, there's some story, some lore DLC coming. Uh, but you know, <clears throat> most people don't pay attention to everything. I paid attention to with this game when it was first announced. And you know, you you read up on it, get on the forum, whatever. I knew they said they said from the beginning this game was going to be a, a, a multiplayer game that's going to be supported throughout its mm-hmm. time. So going into it, I knew there was going to be content coming down the lo- road. So I didn't have a problem going in there, learning the game, exploring the game for what was already there. So when you do it with friends or even solo, I had a good time because I didn't know what to expect. And I understand people's frustration because they expected more. They wanted to be their handheld and some story and all this stuff. But that's not what the game was about. And that's not how they sold it. So I knew this game was going to be supported throughout the... So, no, they've done a good job. And Yeah. It's a fantastic game to play with friends and just, you know, goofing around and having a good time. I don't know where people... We, since last gen, games have been... They come out at a at a... A core game, they've always been patched and got supported, added DLC throughout its time. I don't know where people, you know, where where they've been. Just the way it is nowadays. Can't expect everything on the game right at the start. Sure. So, and it's a lot of work, and I'm sure Rick knows that. You know, he's seen, gone up there with the guys at Warhorse Studio. Those games are not easy. You got a lot of stuff going on in that game. You can't just throw everything in it. Because you can break the game, you know. It has to be gradually implemented, and then you come out with a patch, and it fixes one thing and breaks something else. Exactly. You know? So, you know, I have a lot of compassion for the de- the developers. You know, they, it's not easy work, and you know, people just want everything fixed now. They want everything now. It's instant. So, um, on another note, if we are allowed to transition just a little bit, I have uh, sure. a game that was my co-op game of the year that I think a lot of people disagree with co-op game of the year, but once you learn how how it works, it's amazing, and it's Ashen, believe it or not. So I'm yes. starting on that now, kind of, so I could use a second person. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing game. Yeah, I can't It's a little that. pain to get to, to get to play with a buddy, though. With yes. A designated buddy. <laughs> um, so there's a few things you need to know, and once you work past that, at least in my opinion, once you understand how it works, just like in most games, it ends up being pretty easy to do. In the beginning, it's like, oh, man, I thought it was going to be right away, but it, it works out. You just got to know the rules, so to speak. You know, but but the game, Ashen, is 